in the shallow foundation, the failure could happen in three different modes. First, the general shield failure, which we explained in the last video. Second, the local shield failure, which will happen in medium and loose sand. Third, the punching shear failure. We explained that the settlement will increase as the load increasing until reach the point where the settlement increase alone without any increase in the load. And that point will define as the ultimate bearing capacity. In the local shear failure, the same will happen. As the load increase, the settlement also increase. But this time, the failure will happen faster with a steep incline curve. Let's call the point of failure Q dash ultimate this time. You will notice that the Q dash ultimate is less than Q ultimate. Remember, the Q ultimate is happened in the dense sand and Q dash in the loose one. That will show you the importance of using compaction and in increasing the strength of the soil. Now let's see how the local shear happened. The triangular zoom will push down, similar to the Jana shield failure. But unlike Jana shield failure, the zoom 2 will go down through the loose spaces. In other words, it will end up somewhere inside the soil. That means we don't have a clear zoom 3, because the zoom 2 will not slide the zoom 3 like what happened in Jana shield failure, and even if happened, will be a small one. In the next video, we will see how we can use the shape zone to calculate the bearing capacity of the soil. So, stay tuned. <laughs>